first thing I thought when I heard about this situation was that I'm glad he didn't shoot and kill her and I'm glad he didn't shoot and kill the police officer because way too many situations we have been seeing coming out of Jamaica where men are killing their partners and if you guys don't know Jamaican women are the second most likely to be killed by their partners in the whole entire world hey guys, Okay, welcome to Bruins and the Beat. If you're new here, please like comment share and subscribe and if you're oldie but goodie Thank you for staying tuned to your girl. Thank you for making sure your girl is okay constantly checking on her constantly Liking my pictures on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out. Okay, that's where you get Kai Kai updates That's where you get cute pictures that's where you get the sleigh the clothes the fashion the fashionista in brains and the beat because i kind of don't put that stuff on my channel anymore i just do commentary but it give me a few months i'll start doing them back again and quite honestly i haven't been putting kai in videos because if there's a baby in your video they turn off the comment section so that's how i like to interact with my audience so if the comment section is turned off it makes no sense but if you want to go over side over to my instagram go over there like and actually follow me go ahead do that okay so we're going to be talking about these soldiers okay these soldiers that have been finding men in their household in jamaica my husband is a retired soldier. I actually wasn't with him when he was in the army, but I have a lot of thoughts and opinions as far as dating a man in uniform is concerned. Um, five years. It has been almost five years that me and my husband have been together and I think I have a bit of insight um, to share with my fellow female audience. Um, so, <clears throat> I think this video is long overdue and I'm trying. It says, the police are probing the shooting of a cop allegedly by a soldier in a reported love triangle in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine last night. The police are probing the shooting of a cop allegedly by a soldier in a reported love triangle in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine last night. The shooting was confirmed by Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, the head of the Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit. She was not immediately able to give details. However, it is reported that the soldier shot the police after arriving home to find his female companion in compromising position with the cop. The woman is also a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The policeman reportedly managed to flee, leaving behind his service revolver. He has since been admitted in the hospital in stable condition. And it's reported that this man came into his marital home, seeing his wife and the police officer in a compromising composition. I mean, there they go, the woman. Parts. And... He grabbed the guy, gun butt him a couple of times, and shot him in the upper chest region. So obviously he shot him, but he wasn't shooting him to kill him. Um, a lot of people are saying that if they were in that position, they would have shot and killed the guy because he's basically an intruder in his household. But the, these women are living these double lives and putting their life in danger. Is it really worth it, ma'am? To know that you are the second most yeah. likely person to be killed in the yeah. whole entire yeah. world. Yeah. Really. And it says just days after Jamaica Defense Force soldier shot and injured a policeman who he caught in a compromising position with his wife after arriving in his St. Catherine home, another local army man has reportedly had similar experiences with almost the same consequences. The soldier reportedly discharged his licensed firearm after discovering an uninvited guest inside his spouse's house, but luckily no one was injured. The latest incident happened on Saturday night when the soldier visited his spouse's home 
at FM Vista in Old Capital of Spanish Town in St. Catherine and reportedly accused her of infidelity. The police reported that the soldier discovered that a man was inside the premises and an argument developed between the two males. The woman then reportedly went to the back of the house, opened the lock on a grill and let the man out of out for him to make a safe yeah. escape. But the soldier was quick on his feet and was on spot to discharge one round from his licensed Glock 9mm pistol. The frightened man reportedly jumped a perimeter wall and scampered away to safety. The police were summoned and the soldier who is assigned to the 3rd Jamaica Reg Regiment um, was questioned and his firearm seized for ballistic testing. And they are saying that if um, the FLA is also putting it out there that if your spouse, um, your common law husband, your wife that has a licensed firearm, if you report them to the FLA for threatening to kill you, they'll have their gun license taken away because you're trying to curb the amount of women that are dying at the hands of their partners and I am in full agreement in full agreement if you're threatening your spouse with your license firearm you need to have it taken away um, your firearm is not to be used for th threats but for when you feel like the door just slam I'm guessing it's because of wind me frightened out of my mind but I if your license firearm is not to be used uh, to make threats it's for you to protect your, yourself from immediate harm um so don't go threaten your spouse or your woman because they can report you and get your license taken away so i'm gonna go into my personal opinions and thoughts of, on these situations one i am a woman so when I heard here these situations, they actually make me feel bad and they also make me feel like this is why men treat women the way that they do, especially nowadays. Um, women have a real big issue with men treating them a certain way or treating them bad basically. And situations like this just shows you that women are not saints, okay? They do dirt. Um, <laughs> In order for a man to cheat, you have to have one woman to cheat with. So, women are not saints, they're not victims. We play just as big as a role, a, a role as a man does. And it makes all women, like, it makes most women, especially Jamaican women, look bad. Like, we are women that do this stuff all the time. We are women that whore in okay all the time we cheat upon with spouses and all these things like it's very sickening and it's very sad to see where our culture has gone like women not even have pride in themselves you know what say okay me there with one soldier me there with one police and it not gonna look good if me just cheat upon him or if me just they fling on me body left right and center i'm a married woman i'm taken so let me roll it back and play my role play my position and this was one of the things that i talk about in one of my chit chat get ready with me's a while ago that people don't know their roles anymore you have a ring on your finger you're married you're taken you force this man to become husband and you're not playing your role as a wife you're still out there to live single life if a single life you wanted to live you should not be gotten married in the first place or if you really want to live single life get a divorce they're out there for everybody if you're not happy in your relationship leave the relationship stop trying to be in a relationship and give eye for an eye because it don't work like that an eye for an eye do not work somebody always get themselves hurt in situations like that if you're unhappy, leave your relationship. Make sure you leave that relationship with your integrity and your name well intact 
So no boy can say that girl there whore me the day with her, she cheat pan me. Me know say whoever she pick up again, uh -huh. she out cheat pan uh -huh. too. So me never lose nothing. When that when you leave a relationship, it's supposed to be because you tried your one thousand percent and it just did not work. And the person you left have nothing ill or ne negative to say about you. Their only thing can be, we were together, it didn't work out, uh, we weren't compatible, we weren't this, we weren't that. Honestly, but people compatible with who they want compatible with. I'm just, ah, 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 just putting it out there. Um, they're compatible with who they want compatible with. And that's just my opinion on that. But the only thing they can say is, we just didn't work out. She's a really nice guy. She's very faithful. She's loyal, but we just never work out. Simple. You're left with your integrity, your moral standards intact. And especially when you're dating someone in uniform, I can only imagine how she am this much. She am broke neck. And it's something that I always say in my on my channel because it's something that my mom has always said to me. And I can only imagine how she am this man be figure find him woman in i'm host with our next man like honestly if i was a man i should, uh, me not think nobody would have come out at that house alive and that's just me that's just my opinion um some people might say me crazy me head like all of that. that's just my opinion because i probably would have been so enraged that the the gun just my hand just mistakenly pulled the trigger okay because that that is a level of disrespect that you cross the line you cross the line and especially let me say this let me, let me say it loud and clear for you here all of the women them where they pick up soldier a jamaica because them feel like they have good benefits um they come with um the uniform and them nice and them clean and they're just so sharp and sexy in them, uni in them uniform and all these things please make sure you know what you signed up for when you're dating somebody in uniform okay soldiers some of them go on deployment for months at a time some of them don't come home at night for weeks months at a time no way they sign up for make sure you can't keep your legs closed when them gone upon them job so you won't be something that they have to worry about while they're gone worrying about how them women they cheat upon them because they haven't seen them or had sex with them in a how many weeks or how many months make sure you know how they Keep your legs closed, be a lady and be wife. If I don't want, if you want to be wife, make sure you're not, you're not ready for wife role. Okay? So, that is my thoughts and opinions on that. And I feel sorry for a lot of the, the JDF soldiers in Jamaica because the conditions that they have to work under are very, very poor. And not only are they poor, they also have families at home that they have to try to be husbands and fathers to children over the phone for weeks and months at the time, especially now that we're in Zoso and state of emergency. So me feel sorry for them and shout out to all of the soldiers them with actually staying faithful being a man and now uh, follow the single private soldier them we have one little mosquito wing and living them best young life and out of road they cheat with all like get a them in these poverty poverty stricken areas and these violence stricken areas okay they're making sure that they're being a great husband and a great example for other soldiers big up to Uno because Uno no get enough props and big up no business all when them say Uno a one burner all when them call you call Uno watch a poem all when them call Uno a satan him big up to Uno because y'all don't get the praises y'all deserve because we always as women focus on the negative and all the cheaters cheaters them and the whores them we come in uniform and we don't really talk about the ones that are actually good and faithful and their fathers and their husbands and their providers and them do the what i'm supposed to do so shout out to y'all okay
like comment share and subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you guys think about this story and all of the women them please me i beg you know if you know how to cheat and the man them too if you don't have to cheat just leave the relationship lefty call it a day let it be done all right and i'll see you in the next one deuces